held today to remember the 32 passengers who died, including an American couple. Well, we've been talking about it really throughout all our newscasts, and you've probably been dealing with it in your offices and the classrooms. We're talking about this nasty flu virus that's really hitting us hard. And we're really pleased to have in studio with us Dr. Lubna Javed of Healthcare Partners Nevada. Thank you so much for being with us. Your timing is perfect. Thank you very much. Considering, Thanks for having me. Yes, everything that's going on right now. So, you know, if you could tell us, I mean, this, like we've been talking, this is a pretty nasty um, strand that's been, you know, been hitting uh, us across the nation. What, what's one thing that you would really drive home to the people of Nevada, what they can do right now to really kind of guard themselves against this? You know, along with the hand hygiene that we've always been talking about all day long, Mm -hmm. um, flu vaccine is one thing. It's still not too late to get a flu vaccine. I know there is a national shortage of flu vaccines, right. but at Healthcare Partners, all our clinics are well equipped with that. So you're saying the vaccine's still available for people yes, to get? Right. Yeah. And we want to debunk that myth that you actually can get the virus from getting the vaccine. Not true. You know, the, this is how the vaccine is developed. It's important for people to realize what they do, the researchers, they look at the previous strain mm -hmm. and they kind of like get an estimation of what the next strain is going to be and that's how they develop it. Now, the, the tricky thing about the flu vaccine, um, the tricky thing about the flu virus is because it keeps mutating and keeps changing. So in the midst of everything, it can actually mutate and then it can evolve new strains. But still, it's about 60% effective. That's what I was hearing. So really, when you look at the big picture, it still behooves you to go out and get that flu vaccine because in the long run you really don't have a better chance of fighting as opposed to if you don't get it. Especially for younger kids who are six months and older mm -hmm. and our older adults who are 50 years and older and people who have um, chronic conditions like congestive heart failure, diabetes, mm -hmm. asthma, respiratory failures, they're the ones who are very prone to it because the immunity is down and they can get very sick. It's very important for the patients to realize that it's there, there is a difference between the cold and the flu. Flu strikes you very, very hard and it, it swirls into um, unpleasant and symptoms, you get very high fever with it. Mm. Uh, people have headaches, they have chills, they get very sick. Most of the times for the adults, it's not usually the GI symptoms. They do not get um, sick with a um, stomach virus. But with kids, it can come with um, nausea and vomiting, and they just look sick. Yeah, yeah. So the best advice is it, you know, for people who, you know, become afflicted with this is just to stay home so they don't spread it to everybody else. Please be a couch potato. That's one time I would say <laughs> be a couch potato. potato. No, just great. line up a caregiver. Have plenty of rest, plenty of hydration. If you don't have a humidifier, get a humidifier. Hmm. Um, all that, you know, the the grandma's tips, you know, um, have some tea, um, stay at home, rest, wipe up your surfaces. And if you're sick and you need to be at a doctor's office, please call and let them know that you are sick. Very good. Well, because I'm sorry, yes. go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Because, you know, that's the waiting areas are one of the places where if I sneeze or if I cough today, the virus can travel as, as fast as 60 miles an hour. Ah, my goodness. That's something. Well, you know, we really appreciate you, doctor, for being here. Thank like you very I said, much. your timing was right on time considering everything that's going on right now. And thank you for your tips to hopefully keep a few more people from getting it sick. It is my question. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Well,